Hello, everyone. Welcome to our short video sessions. Uh, today's topic will be MSF optimization by using uh, tag time. So this is a lean manufacturing a concept that is applied to mostly automotive industry, where uh, we are using tag time to plan the number of products that we will produce for that day. So what is tag time? Tag time actually is uh, the division of the all available uh, net working time that you have per shift. For example, you may have uh, 480 minutes per one shift, which is eight hours. And of course, when you exclude the lunch times, you exclude the plant maintenance. So the net working time divided by the customer demand. So the customer demand is actually the number of products that you need to produce for that day. So if you have, for example, 100 products that you need to produce and you have 480 minutes for that day available, and when you divide these two, you get 4.8 minutes. If we approximate, let's say five minutes, this means that in every five minutes, you need to produce one product. But this is not so simple because in the background, you cannot physically produce a car in five minutes. So let's say uh, if we have 100 minutes to produce one car, and then if we have 10 workstations, it means that in every workstation, it will work for 10 minutes. But if we have two operators, then it means that each operator can work for five minutes in every workstation so that in total, uh, there will be five minutes needed to produce one car. We may seem to produce the car in every five minutes, but to do this in the background, there is lots of complicated operations which need to be balanced. And here comes the part where you need to make really efficient planning so that you will not have losses. So what are these losses? As you see in the picture, which is shown currently, there are operations which are shorter and some operations which are longer. So your tag time is five minutes. This means that in every five minutes, you need to switch to the other car because the line is continuing. And in every five minutes, it's moving in front of the operator. It has to finish all the operations for that car in these five minutes. So the tag time actually is the maximum allowed time that one operator should spend on one particular product, which is in front of him while the assembly line is moving. But what happens, as shown in the picture, when we have shorter operations? there will be, of course, lots of gaps. And what happens when there are longer operations, the operator will need more time to work on that, and then things will get complicated. So what the planners normally do is that they balance this. And how do they balance? They put the short operation with the longer operation next to each other, so that if one of the operations is three minutes, the other one is seven minutes, in total, you will have 10 minutes for both of them. So the average will be, again, five minutes. But you cannot do this all the time. You have to plan what type of models are coming one after the other so that uh, these get uh, solved by the system. Uh, so doing this manually takes lots of effort. And what MSF APS does is automate all these procedures and it gives you a very much higher efficiency. Doing it manually requires a lot of hard work because you have to check many conditions. You have to check how many employees you have, how many workstations you have, what skills they have so that they can work on which workstation or which operation. So. MSF is actually doing all of this in background. And what you have to do is just click one button. So for the next part, Mr. Nuri will show uh, a live demonstration on how this is working and how it is implemented on MSF and how you can benefit from it. Thank you. Uh, welcome to our presentation. I will continue to talk time planning. So for the tag time planning, there are some uh, points are so critical. One part is the employee, another one is the operations. So how many operations will be done in for this workstation, each workstation? And then how many employee will work there? So operation count, like here there are a few operation, will be different based on your resource. What is your resource in this case for the automotive? This is the assembly. So if you put more than one operator there, so you, you will have more operation here because you will increase your capacity. So inside the tag time, as you see, here is the one case study and tag time is five minutes for each five minutes. The sec uh, another car is coming to line. So A1 is the car, A1. So still A1 uh, in second five minutes and sk still A1. But during this time, A2 joined here, A3 joined. So 
uh, on the line, there is three car. So there are different operation for each car system is making decision. So it's continue like this. So this is the end of the line. So the car is completed, all the assembly completed, and you can take the car from the line. So we have this similar uh, planning. We are calling this continuous line scheduling. So I will show some case study. Here is our platform. Inside our platform, we system is finding the talk time automatically. So you are just defining what is the start and finish time means your you will start your shift at eight, let's say, and you will finish at four. So you can select uh, eight to four. So system will make decision. I will just uh, tell, okay, let's uh, finish later. I'm putting more time for the finishing and then I will schedule. As you can see, here is the capacity. Capacity is 94, but now another result will come and system will show us what is the capacity. Now capacity, capacity is 87. So as you can see, there are some difference. So your line speed will be based on this. We can see it's starting 1250 and another one is starting 1255. So almost five minutes. So when I decrease this uh, finish time, I'm telling uh, please finish more earlier. So let's see, I will put like this and I will reschedule again. So we will see the result, how it will be looked. Now it's more, uh, much better. So the car is coming and continue with this way. So the similar as I showed in the presentation, system is making decision which operation will be done at which workstation and what is the capacity for each workstation. In this case, the capacity, individual capacity is one. So if you put two, three, four, so this will be not five minutes, it will be one and a half minutes or two minutes because it depends on your individual capacity. So as you, as you can see, if you have more individual capacity, you will have more operation will be done at this workstation. For in, at this workstation, you have one, as you can see, only two operation. You have three, you have a lot of operation. So system is making decision, which operation will be done at which workstation. So thank you so much uh for joining please follow us in youtube and, and other platforms